Welcome to another Jerry's Live After Party. This time, the freak show. No, not us. The supplies. We're talking about freaky deaky things, freaky brushes, freaky tools for your art, and to bring on, to bring our freak on is Amy. Yes. Yes. So this is Brush Breakdown 3, but it is the freak show. It's the freak show. It's the freak show. Isn't that so, a great title? So this is not everything that we sell that's freaky, but it's a pretty good portion. It's a good portion. Okay. It's a good portion. So we're going to be just talking about tools that you can use for painting. Well, we would have been talking about that. Now we're going to show you. Yes. So, yeah, exactly, because <laughs> it's the after uh, yeah. before Yeah, we've, we've already issue. done it, we think. We don't know. Yes. This is pre-recorded. So. Yes. This is before the after. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. After the before. After yes. the before. Okay. But back Our, to the future. It is. Okay. Without the DeLorean. Great Scott. <laughs> Get those big brushes there. Oh, this is All heavy. right, yes. This is what we're going to start with. Those oh. Why, <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, you get the big one. <laughs> These are the Alvin Comfort Curve brushes. Look at the comfortable curve. Now, they're, so comfortable. people are like, what are you going to do with this? Yeah, what am I going to do with this? Is this like I mean, for painting? You could, you could probably use them for that, but I really the recommended mm -hmm. what they're made for. They're designed for, uh, for draftsmen, for illustrators, things like that. It's got this kind of semi-stiff coarse hair. Yeah, it's, 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 it's coarse, but it's not, it, it, it's soft. Right. So... so when you work with a lot of dry media, you do erase, and you get those little pesky kind of eraser bits. Schmutz. That that people just kind of instinctively want to flick. Yep, I'm a flicker. With their hand. Always have been. And what does that do? It smudges your do? art. Yes. It, it ruins does. art. If you flick and you're not supposed to flick, you can flick your artwork. Yes. Right up. So. So you yeah so you would just simply use this to very light. quickly. It's yep. A, like, look at the flick of the wrist. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do pinky up because I'm fancy. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's it's harder with this bigger one. Well, you got to be, yeah. Well, I yeah. got a nice dainty one. Okay, so that's what these are. Yes. So it's, it's a great tool, and, and, you know, people don't think that... I, I always used a hockey brush in college, mm -hmm. a small one, when they used to make them, like, extra ride with all the little things. That's actually right. way easier, and it's stiffer, so it gets that off Okay. easier. So those are those. Um, those are those. Those are those. We're, we're going to put this over here, because this is going to be your little... Uh, oh, we'll put it with this. We have fun at the end of this for Mike. It's totally taking him outside of his comfort zone. Yeah, All don't right. expect me to be happy well, the whole time. Well, let's placate you with something that you, placate you might okay. enjoy All right. better at the time I like being. colors. We got colorful we stuff We do. Here. We've got the Princeton Catalyst mm -hmm. tools. Um, they can be used kind of as brushes, as tools. Uh, they make all these great little, uh, we'll show these, but then we'll pick some with some neater textures. Yeah, this um, is their, their stiffest. This, these, yes. These, these are like key fibs. Is, uh, these are called the contour, these small ones that are kind of perfect size for the hand. They're almost like a, a scraper for cooking, like for mm -hmm. cleaning pots and pans. But they've got all these great edges. You can apply kind of gesso and smear it across. Mm -hmm. You can use it for doing additive and subtractive work. It's nice and stiff, so you could get a good line with it. You can actually, this is almost like a chisel, this is a chisel tip, yes. so you get three lines. You can get the, the fine line, yes. the medium line, and then the bold line. Works great for encaustics. Encaustics, also uh, Acrylics, image I mean, transfer, oils. maybe? Uh, we've got one, let's let's look at this. We'll do these big uh, wedges first. Ooh, give me my Sonic one. Oh, you want the, yes, it does look like the Sonic, doesn't it? Yeah. This one in particular, this big gray one, is ideal. That's called the wedge for image transfer because it's it's got some play to it. But it's still firm. But it's still firm. And instead of, you know, people use their, their little store, grocery store, points card or whatever customer satisfaction card don't that makes your hand cramp up that library card yes this has got a nice kind of wide width grip, yeah for the for the grip so you don't have that hand fatigue but it's got a flat surface where you can actually pull uh, there's this one and this one this one would probably be a Softer. little more optimal for uh for the image transfer but it's it's firm enough where it's going to pull that across but not tear the paper because it does have some flex to it so okay so let's use these. Now when we get the paint out, let's use the Ooh, structure because it's nice and thick. Just put it right on here. Okay. Because um, we're going to do a kind of, you can use these indirect, direct painting, additive, subtractive, the whole nine yards. But let's, if we put it right on there, then you can kind of see All right. with adding and subtracting. So get a good bit of paint on there. I have a slightly smaller canvas pads so I don't want to use quite as oh, much. Oh yeah. Now, yeah I'm gonna see just, how I did that. Yeah. Tend to use a lot. I'm going to use this side. Okay. And, and you're going to, 
Okay, let me just see what you're going to do. I'm, I'm just going to take it and just see how it is just to kind of pull it out. So see, you can get a nice long draw, or you can take it and just lightly color. Now, I won't be getting that because I've got Sonic <laughs> in this freak show. So let's see what happens when I do it. Do you have to make sounds like Sonic? <laughs> you should. I feel like you should. I was going to do a Roadrunner sound. I don't know what Sonic the Hedgehog sounds like. <laughs> I'm just like, beep, beep. No, that's not it. <laughs> Cool. Now that uh, is, yeah, you nice. know, I'm painting with it, but I could go in. Can I? Can yeah, I go no, in your blue? And I can just go across. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So these would be great for abstract work mm -hmm. in oils or acrylics. They're easy to clean off. Yeah. Um, especially if they get acrylic. You know, we were talking about that earlier. Going, a uh, bunch of stuff in there. The mm -hmm. OCD comes out. Right. Just uh, soak it and use like a toothbrush or something, or comes a stiff, off, yeah. stiff hog bristle brush, and it'll come right out. So, um, so those are the catalyst wedges. Now let's look at kind of the little version that are the textured hard version. Okay. Here's so this is an in between. So if these are considered softer, mm -hmm. these are considered firmest. Really hard. These are the baby bear. They're kind of in between, and Just but they're kind of that right. small hand size shape. Um, so I mean, we can just, we can even use what we've got set out. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you can just take that and get a nice drawdown, or even just use it to kind of put a little bit of color. I think I saw you do something with it uh, in a different color where you kind of took some of mine earlier and stamped it in. That was kind of cool. There's all kinds of options. Yeah, see, like. Oh, look at that. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> no, you were like, <gasps> you touched my What is she page. doing? Tomorrow? Yeah, so okay. so that's great because you can get, get you know build it up with the really thick. You can make it thin, and you can go back in and scrape down to just the, the yeah. raw canvas. So so it's they're just and they've got a bunch of different shapes, kind of sawtooth, all sorts of fun different stuff. So there's lots of options with these cute little guys. Cute little buggers. Well, they are. They're cute, and you know they've got hooks so you can hook them on nails or. Something like that in the yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep them out of, out of the way. Now we won't use these because there's no point. We'll look at the big ones and then we'll look at kind of the yeah, in between. Yeah, these are essentially the it's a very similar product, but like if you're working on an easel, you know, yes. easel painting, you know, this is going to give you a much more comfortable, you know, traditional feel. Mm -hmm. Even though this is a very untraditional tool. Ooh. But I mean, that's that's nice because you've got you, you can step back, but you've got that blade. Um, they even make them in the little fine ones. I mean, there's all sorts of different points. For each of these styles, they've got that tip in mm -hmm. the long handle as well. So, in, in different widths. So those are really cool, cool. tools. Um, and then there was one more of oh, these. These okay. are the mini ones. These remind me of like cake frosting tools. They do look like that, yeah. So, these but. These softer. This is yes, probably, much, yeah. much, it's See a little bit softer than these. So. Um, so you've got the ability to kind of really play with it. Do you want to take it and pull it across your okay, okay, okay. Just try it. Yeah, try it. See what happens. Well, that smoothed that right out, yeah. didn't it? Let's see what happens when I... Now that's fun. Look at that. That's art. I oh. can sell this for like six or seven cents. There you go. This is a collaborative project now. <laughs> it is. That just doubled the value. <laughs> it's just... No, it's just, I know it's really like tearing you up inside, but I'm painting Yeah, on it, well, so thank you for that. I yeah. appreciate that, you yeah. know. I'm here to help. Sorority Annoy, instinct? Apparently, yes. Is that a, is that a I word? I don't know. To All annoy right. the. Okay, so those were some of those. Well, as long as we've got this out, let's look at color shapers. Oh, yeah. Now, these are. They, they make all sorts of different types. They make some for pastels. Mm -hmm. We're not going to use that today because we don't need to add dust to the melee uh, already going on. It's already um, freaky enough. But these are feel yeah. much softer. Yeah, that so the, 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 versus... the gray is a softer rubber where the black is a, a firmer. Actually, let me, um, let me come down here and just kind of show the yeah. give. So you can kind of see the give that that has. Yeah. Here's... Versus the black one where it's... Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. because it's rounded, but I mean, you can see all these different, hold those up so you can see all the kind of different styles of points Get that the they've point? got. Oh, and there's, that's actually kind of. Well, that's, yeah, it's like a, 
like a marker uh, no. chisel. It is. Yeah. It's what it looks like. Yeah, it's because like a marker chisel you cup. can have the, the flat edge there, the medium, or yeah. the, the bold. So, so you can use these, in, and they're long handled, so you can use them at an easel. Um, but you could, you know, use them sitting as well. Okay. And I think the pastel ones are shorter. So that can give you, you know, the ability to draw through your, one of your little things with that okay. little pointy tool. Yep, right into it. Wedge. And I'm going to try to actually just subtract out. Yeah. And then. Yeah, see? So yeah. it can kind of, I mean, these would be great for encaustics as well. There's oh, wow, very, look at that. Look how much that pulls. Yeah, it pulls a lot. And uh, I'm, so this is the. The black um, color shaper, so it is the firmest, but this is really, you know, it's, it, it's as much as it's an additive tool, it's a subtraction tool as well. Oh, those are fun. Aren't they fun? Yeah. Woo! That's my fun noise. Is that a, a lollipop? It is. I represent its guild. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Never gets old, that joke. <laughs> All right, you've lost <sighs> your privileges. Again. Okay. So those are the color shapers. Now, oh, this one actually is called a clay shaper. We've been I think it's because you can use, well, no. I we mean, can you carve can, into that's it, yeah. A clay, um, I mean, you could use them for pottery, but you could use them for actually doing, if you're doing you know, a portrait head or mm -hmm. a full figure, rather than wood tools, they clean off easier and it's kind of. It has a little bit a little more give. Bit, yeah. Okay. More give. All right, so we've got all this going on. Would you, would you like to try some palette knives? As long yeah. as we've got some paint. Yeah, out why not? There's paint. Knock, let's knock Are you it talking out. about these special effects, FX, FX brushes? <laughs> yes. Special effects, FX brushes. Now, I in case feel like there should be an echo with that. You don't know special what I'm talking effects. about. FX. 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 Palette knives. I've been saying brushes. Palette knives. Oh, okay. that's because we've got brushes. We've got brushes too, but yeah. And, and because of, it's the brush breakdown that, that only makes sense. This so I'm going to. Freaking no. Oh, yeah, that one's fun. Okay. So now we've got these, and then we've got these giant, uh, the Creative Mark. <laughs> Those are some giant palette knives. That's when you really, I, uh, you must be painting on a huge scale or flipping pancakes. Silver dollar pancake yeah. spatula. But, I mean, there's there's a lot of nice give and play in those. And, and the handle. The handle has that the, metal, the metal up inside it handle. with the bolts through it. So yep. it's very sturdy. Yep. It's going to be able to manage those loads. But I think these are a little less unwieldy since we're working in a small surface so we'll kind of all right well, these. You, but you got to get another color paint oh yeah let's let's do something different oh there you go well i have this other magenta but it's really obnoxious like more than me which i know that's hard for some of you guys to imagine oh it's that it's, was my outside voice <laughs> use your inner monologue yes okay all right so so, I mean, that's I, great because you can stamp with that. Yeah, I guess so. Or you can drag it and, you know. So, if you're using a heavier body paint, creating texture right in that paint. Or, let me stamp it out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try with this first. Oh, that's kind of fun. Whoa. <laughs> yep. You Check be that ready. out. That's uh, got to be ready, as we said. Got to be ready. You got to be prepared. <laughs> that's that's really kind of cool. That's nice because you can actually use it still as a palette knife on the end and pull larger amounts. But oh, that's really those little. It looks like a little frog feet. They are little, little frog feet. Like <laughs> frog with way too many toes. Yeah. Well, it's freak frog. But that's nice. I like that texture, mm -hmm. and that's that's really fun. That would be great for abstract painting. I think we actually have a video that we should link to it that I think Judge Julio does mm -hmm. with the knives. Yes, absolutely. Um, we had to film it. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. So, so I know um, it exists. Yeah, so that's that would be a good thing to link with this to oh, go okay. into those in more depth. All right, so uh, we've got those, and those are really fun. Now, how about we do some of these? Oh, this one that was scaring Katie. It looks like a drum snare. The, these okay. are Liquitex effects, or Liquitex freestyle freestyle brushes. Now they have all sorts of them, from from little tiny ones that we've shown in our, our, our thing ahead of time, to Stop doing it. whoa. Instead of just your small paddle brush, you've got these for painting large areas. 
so of, these are of just work for an easel brush. Freakishly huge. But I mean, if you're gonna do glazing or washes, I mean, that's because you're, you're not gonna get brushes this size normally to right. be able to do that to get smooth work. But it's stiff enough where you can use it for some impasto techniques too. And I actually have some of these at home. I love this style, and I've got these, and then with the angular uh, and the straight. And, and look how yeah, how, how much fill. It's yeah, but it's like nice and fat, so it holds a lot of paint. Um, but I mean, it's it's very comfortable to hold, and you, and you've got that length for an easel standard easel painting brush, so it's nice for working kind of larger scale. So that's this line of the freestyle. But then they've got all these really short. I gotta cool, try. It. I gotta try. Um, brushes for decorative painting and for go, yeah. Going crazy. So this is just using it as a glob. But then <laughs> spread it. Oh, that's fun. Yep, right in the pink. Right in that magenta. Get some orange and pull it through there. Okay, well now you Really get crazy. All right, let's see what happens now. Ooh, that's nice. And when you're done, you get this really pretty pattern. No, you, get, <laughs> you wipe it off. <laughs> Okay. Or have a drum solo. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Look, I'm getting a little carried away. Yeah. I mean, that can just, the nice thing about that and how long those bristles are, you could just soak it in the water and. That's right. Won't even get in the handle. Look, not going to go up in the ferrule. Wasting time. Isn't that nice? All okay. right. Uh, for color shapers, I forgot these because they just, this is so different than those. Look at those fun shapes. So there's, so this one is. That's split. Mm -hmm. The decorator. The decorator. And this one, is, ooh, that's extra firm. Oh, it is. Extra but, firm. Look at, but look at the curve to it. Yeah, it's got this, sorry, extra firm. And it's, it kind of bends to the curves to the right a little bit, mm -hmm. which I can relate to. Which. Look at that one. See the flat? Look at the difference between the flat and the curve. Yeah, so yeah. This is what a normal one would look like, and this is what a bend. Yes. Yeah. So, so that gives you kind of some. So that w is it? Is it like a comfort thing? Is that like a? Um, it's it's so well probably just for moving the pigment. It just, you know, this is probably gonna get you a cleaner line for reductive because it's because it's flat. You can mm -hmm. get a smoother shape where this is probably gonna more pull color. And some of the things that people use these curved ones for, you can apply gesso with it and you don't get brush strokes. Oh, that's right, because it's, it's it's rubber. Right. It's gonna it's gonna be nice and smooth. So that's a um, oh use it to try it the other way with the curve. Oh, oh. see, there's a right, right and a wrong way. How you walk around with me without me helping you? I don't know. I nearly died. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were covered with paint earlier. Yeah. So. Well, that was the situation. All right. So now with this decorative one, uh, they say that these are good for doing like wood grain and stuff because you can get some texture with it. So let's try. Uh, I'm gonna load that up and then you can pull it over there so that you can see it in the camera. Here you go. Just pull it across. Mm -hmm. Try it. I, I've not used one, so I'm kind of curious to see what it will do. It just gives you little lines. Well, but with a practiced hand. Well, then why are you having up, me do it? I, up, that's a good point. Well, I've never used them either, so oh, okay. we're kind of at the same level here with this. But so you can get kind of some decorative effects with that. Um, if you can do it with a thinner medium or even with stain, you can kind of help do a faux wood grain with them. Okay. So it gives you some kind of different fun tools to play around with. You just put that in there with paint on it, didn't you? Yes. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, I didn't <laughs> swoosh it around. Amy. <laughs> See, it came up in the ferrule. That's why we don't do that. It just falls under there. All right. It can't <laughs> so, all be. I know. Germ well, that thing's pretty nice. All okay. right. So, um, so I think we're gonna have to try the funny brushes. You know, we, we've these, had people ask, and we've I, sold these since I was a kid. Uh, are they funny? They, are they really, it was are funny they to me at, at seven years old. I'm like, this is so silly, and you know, people would call up. I don't want the funny brush. All right, so I'm going to do this because I've kind of got too much fun. Is it a funny brush, eh? Is it <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to use the fluid acrylic just to... Oh, I, I was going to go thick, but you... Okay. Well, no, how about you do that, and I'll do this. Now, these say that they can be used with watercolor, with oil, acrylic, 
It does say, though, because they're kind of made with kind of a rubbery sponge-like material. Rubber band type yes, material. Yes, it's very, very much so. It's, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, which makes it funnier. Yeah, the funny thing is you're paying for it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but if you do it with oil, you need to wipe, it says with all of them, to clean them, wipe out the majority of the paint. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, it can be soaked in water or whatever for acrylic and oil. It's uh, or for acrylic and watercolor, but it does say that you need to put petroleum jelly in it for oil to kind of clean it out because you can't use solvents because mm -hmm. being rubber based, it'll eat them. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna just. So I'll go into the, this. Is the. Uh... This looks like I'm painting with mustard. I don't like this color. Oh, see, that's kind of nice with the heavier. Okay, we'll see. That's kind of fun. You could do, that's like grass-like texture with that thinner fluid acrylic. I, I can see the allure. The allure? Yeah, are you, see, look. Are you a convert? It's kind of, well, yeah, with that, a yeah. nice grass-like. And, th and those are also smaller rubber bands or yeah, bands of yes. rubber. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> try that Try that on there and see. I like how you like looked like you were actually like pensive. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> they don't let you out much. Do they don't. They? No. This is all the fun I get to have. <laughs> so that's, I mean, that's, that's kind of see how, let me try this and see what this really thin little tiny one. Teeny tiny one. Oh yeah. So and that's the heavier body, but you can still kind of thin it down to, yeah, I mean, that's, I can see why people ask about them. Okay. Just, it's, it gives you kind of that a texture because because the one thing about a regular brush is if you're scrubbing with a regular brush, you're going to destroy it mm -hmm. doing that. Mm -hmm. Where this is kind of rubber bandy and springs back and not so funny once you know how. I know. It is. All right. Who knew? Who knew? I just thought it was a gimmick. Look, at this. this is all clean now. Yeah. Sorry, Will. <laughs> Like that well okay so we've covered a lot of these things let's um let's go into kind of we'll do the sponge and then we'll do okay the the uh, water media brushes the let me strike right. this let's see i'm uh my sponge got gross so we'll just use more here just use a this one okay is that nice yes now sponges are a tool that a lot of people don't think about other than for watercolor well, I mean, I think about it when I'm cleaning my kitchen, but yeah, you're yeah. right, that, that too. Well, you can use these for all sorts of stuff. And for acrylic, especially, or, or oil, just have to be, you know, clean them very well and then not use them for other mediums. Um, you can actually use these to paint your ground. Oh, okay. So I wet it down and I squeezed it out. Let's see what happens. And this is a fluid acrylic. Look at that covering power. Let's see how that's getting it with no brush strokes. I mean, I can even go over this. The multi-talented natural sea sponge. And I can scrub that right off, even though it was already starting to set up. But it's painting a nice even ground on here that would be dry very quickly because it's so thin, it doesn't really have the brush stroke. So when you see paintings where they've utilized the ground and you see like kind of little purposeful peaks mm -hmm. through of the color it's not going to have brush strokes where it's going right. to be detractant um it, it's going to be vibrant and kind of have that pop and that play visually so you can use that for that but then you can use it for doing texture just use that <laughs> you're like ah, paint you just gently kind of dab it pick up some gold that would be or the copper yeah that would be kind of a I mean, they're great for faux finishing. Um, you watercolor. can do all sorts. Yeah, watercolor, all sorts of stuff. But I mean, even even for oils, you can get texture and stuff in there, and even clean and kind of scrub areas off that you don't like. So, sponges are something people don't think about as mm -hmm. a tool consistently that they should. They're very inexpensive. They will last forever if you're good about cleaning them out. I mean, even though this is this is stained with just still staining usable. watercolor, it's still very usable. It doesn't have the texture of the paint in it. So, right. um, and with big ones like this, you can cut them and make them smaller ones. Yep, you can use some smaller chunks. So, uh, so there are sponges. Let's um, 
Sorry, I was wet with something. That's fine. You're, you're, I enjoy your enthusiasm. Thank you. That, that was pretty excited. <laughs> you didn't get it on me for once, so that was the... <laughs> I didn't get it on you for once. Yes. Oh, boy, I'm going yes. to hell. Well, there's that show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. I feel like we say that to you. Yeah. Okay, so these are Creative Marks masking fluid brushes. And something a lot of people don't think about, and customers would call all the time, with masking fluid emergencies where they've taken a Kalinsky or a synthetic Kalinsky, used it for masking fluid, then ruin their life it's in there and getting it out is next to impossible so these are brushes where you can single use you can use them several times um, if you've cleaned them some i mean there's a, a depending on how much you know these brushes are you know designed to be disposable yes. but if you you know don't want to go through yes. them for one use just give them a little clean and right um eventually they will gunk up because that's just the nature of the um the uh, masking fluid, but right. let's, let's just show it. This is, in my opinion, a brush, uh, one of the easier ways yes. to apply this. God knows well, I've and, tried with nibs. And white sable is gonna give you a, a thinner, softer line because it's supposed to kind of mimic what sable does. So it's going to spread it on the paper without a lot of texture, which you want because you want a really good bond with your masking fluid and um, in the paper. Mm -hmm to peel it back up. So you've got that and then you've got the the finer one so you can get, you know, razor fine Ooh, detail razor. might be easier to see on the... Now as the masking fluid dries, it will turn, uh, unlike a gel medium which turns clear, it will turn to darker, I think this turns to darker blue. Yes. And that's just so that you can see where it is for removal later after it's dried and you've painted over it or, you know, whatever you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Um, you, you know where it is and, and what to expect. Right. And if you do accidentally get them in your brushes, Sometimes they can be saved. Sometimes. Uh, I, I had a synthetic Kalinsky that I, I went on a trip and was doing some work. I had a retail booth for a week and forgot masking fluid brushes and ended up using one of those because there was nothing else that I could use. But I did have, because I was carrying alcohol inks, the Chelsea Classical Studio Lavender. Chelsea saves the day again. Yes, the lavender essence. And, um, and it took it out. It took about maybe five minutes of put it in there soaked and then it, it you know just peeled that stuff right out mm -hmm. so I'm not going to use that brush for anything else right because now it's because now it's just it's not the same that it was but to have that you know to be able to still use it for masking fluid is good so so that's just a nice doodad so if you're not like I mean you can see that's already setting up in there yeah and so it's just it's just masking fluid it's the nature of the beast it's great I mean it keeps out. water from getting through to your paper when you're working but yeah. it's kind of seals yep. stuff. So seals so well. Yes. So that <laughs> Yeah, you're <laughs> just, just making a mess. Through that. Okay. Okay. So we've got those. I think we're down to the bottles and then we're gonna totally make you mm. really uncomfortable uh. and unhappy and use the real freak show tools yeah. of the thing. Before we do that we'll we'll be nice and do this. Uh, would you like to do open that up? Yeah. Now, before we started filming, Amy thought it was very important that we show you that it does come complete with funnel, because mm -hmm. funnels, it, fun is in the name. <laughs> That's right. Funnel. Now, these are the Flow Expressions bottles, these nice big ones. You can cut them to whatever right. an angle. You can keep them straight, kind of whatever, thicker line, thinner line. Depending on how far back yes. you go, you snip the tip. Uh, will depend on how thick of a line you'll get and also like she said at an mm -hmm. angle if you're feeling fancy. Yes, and then these are the Flowline bottles and they have these little stainless steel tips. It comes with three bottles and three little tips so you can get this needle-like performance. Are we going to fill one or? Yeah, yeah? knock yourself out. Use, fluid uh, acrylic? There's a, some a fluid matte ink or yeah. there's fluid acrylics. Now, Which either one will work in those. Oh, I blew myself. <sighs> Every time. This probably doesn't even need the funnel, but because there is a funnel, I'll use it. Yeah, well, yeah, because you've got the, the tip on that. So, um, which really this probably. If I over squeeze, the funnel compensates. You see that? Well, okay, Imagine so it. an interesting side note about those funnels when we did the pouring mediums show and, and we were using pipettes, we realized we could have been using these. We didn't think the pouring medium would go down through that funnel, but it does. It does. So, I mean, these are ideal for using pouring medium. I'm just going to put that right in the water. 
Well, no, I and mean, I that, know, yeah. that's prevents it from drying out. Yeah. Every, even when I do something serious, it's like, okay, I guess you no, are. It's just, it's just funny because I've got my water it's and like your green water. eggs and ham. I know. Yeah. All right, do we have scissors so I can snip the tip? Uh, well, you could use the campus yeah. paper. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to talk about this. Ooh, about it. that's sharp. All right, let's see what happens. You ready? Mm-hmm. It's talking to Will. Oh, sorry. Stop answering for I'm Will. Just being enthusiastic. See, it's nice because you can kind of vary the line by mm -hmm. how much you squeeze it. They're a nice little tool. And these are for even more detail. Yes, and inks work especially well with those. I really like those inks. Mm. Okay. Hopefully I've gotten that on there far enough. This is gone far enough. Now this is the same thing, the matte fluid? Yes, yes, just because it's a very, very thin liquid acrylic, so I thought that would oh, be Oh yeah, easiest. so this, this, this can get very thin. You can use it almost like a technical pen with just a little bit of practice. Yeah, if, if, you, if you, well... Yeah, a very. Th yeah, absolutely. Well, see, see, as you, it's just getting used to kind of squeezing it out and working. As you get used to it, you're going to get much more proficient at it. So. So these are great for you know, abstract work for just adding little touches. You can put watercolor in them. Mm -hmm. um, you can even put masking fluid in some of these. This, I would think it might be a little bit too fine, mm -hmm. but I mean, these would work with masking fluid if you just want to just, you know, be able to draw it on rather right. than paint it. So, um, so these are just fun, helpful little kind of bottles in the studio that are very inexpensive. Okay, great. All right. Yeah. Okay, so canvas scrapers, we probably better talk about those. I blew right over them because they were sitting kind of off to the side. Yeah. So what do you what do you notice about that? I believe now I don't usually think about these sort of things, but because you know I spend so much time with you, I believe that this is <laughs> made. This? <laughs> yeah, this is made for a guy like me, not for a girl like her. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? She's a lefty. I'm a righty. If you see here, the blade has its shape on this side, but on the other side, it's it's smooth. So it's really not designed to give you the a left-handed artist. So what 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 is a girl to do? these it's it's not quite as formidable looking as right. that you couldn't also use it for a studio attacker or you something should. i mean i guess you could <laughs> okay <laughs> i used so. to work in a prison i think about this thing. yeah well so um th this is perfect for right or left-handed because it's it's got the ability to work either you know either direction right so you can take dried paint off of canvases with these acrylic or palettes. oils Palettes, I mean, perfect mm -hmm. for, for, I think that one would be ideal. And for these are like, like razor sharp. Like yes. if you can hear, th these are sharp. Right. So you want to be careful with them. But I mean, yeah, you can hear, if, I mean, just rub it on your, on your canvas. You can hear, look, this will take up that flute, even the fluid acrylic that's dry. You can, that's taking that color right off the top there. So if that was a heavier body, that's, I mean, and this is basically just stained. You'd be able to just pop that right, right, right off. So, which, which, you know, people say, you know, as long as you've been careful about it and you're not going down into your priming, mm -hmm. with oil paintings, there are people that'll start something and then not like it. Right. You think you're, if it's dried, you're you screwed. Have yeah, sorry. <laughs> you're, you know, screwed and you're not going to be able to do anything with it. And you're really not supposed to paint oil over old paintings. So what you can actually do is go back and scrape, scrape that, that off, put kind of a fresh coat on and, and work from there. Fantastic. So, so yeah, so they're a great tool. And just like steak knives, this the is something yeah. that people don't think about. The metal is built right into that handle and bolted through. Yes. So and and this is actually stable. very nice wood. It's very well finished, it's been oiled. I mean, that's not dry at all. I mean, these just came straight out of the package and a lot of times with wood you'll get... Cracking. Or yeah, cracking. They're, where it's already all dried, this is actually very nice. It feels very supple in the hand. So they're very nice quality tools. So canvas, create more canvas scrapers. There so, you go. All right, so are, are you ready? Do you, do you have a poncho? Let's cut and see if we can find something for me because I'm, I'm kind of concerned. I'm a little concerned. All right, let's get started. Seriously? 
<laughs> this is what you're doing. Is this too much? Well, no, you're, you're going to need a head hold, and then you can't, can't stand and hold the eye. All right, I need a head hold, so we'll be right back. All right, so I think we're ready now to start with the splatter tool. That probably took about 45 minutes. And you're gonna do this how? I don't know. I'm gonna give birth to my arm. <laughs> okay, there's a reason that I prepared myself for this, and it's because it's a splatter tool, so it splatters. <laughs> it splatters. Amy, lube me up. It is the... <laughs> This, you gotta get the name right. The Splatter Wonder Speckle Brush. I'm the wonder. Yeah, why wonder? Uh, okay, you know what? We're gonna take some of this. All right, are you ready? I, am I ready? If, if this ain't ready, I don't know what is. Oh boy, okay. So if you look here, <laughs> the reason that this thing makes such a damn mess is that you stick this metal rod through it and then you flick it, flick it, and it can make a mess. So let's let's just do this for the people because they yeah they're so good for watching and yeah. it's, we want to give them a good show and entertain them. Oh, and, this is entertaining, that's for sure. Right, so I'm gonna just rotate it in in the paint. Oh, why am I doing? You notice that? I don't have a splash guard because I have children. I've, I've been there and done that. And this an apron. A, yeah. Well, the, yeah. This doesn't cover everything. All right. All right. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Everybody stand back. It's already splattered. Uh, we yeah. haven't even started yet. <laughs> oh, my. It's not that bad. Getting all Jackson Pollock with it. If he had this, his paintings would have been done much faster. Yeah, that's true. Not that bad. Not that bad. No, that's not, that's, that's not bad. Look that's, at me. It, that's not... Now I could see, uh, <laughs> we didn't use heavy body acrylics. That could have been way worse. So. True that. Yeah, that was using liquid okay. acrylics. Okay, the, just the golden fluid acrylics. So, um, what do we got so there? I'm gonna one up, one up this. Oh, that thing. <laughs> this is a mouth atomizer. For those of you that don't know. The eco-friendly non-aerosol spray method. You become your own hairspray. Yes, essentially. Bottle. Okay, so I, I'm going to open this up, and then if I need to read you the directions. If anybody can hear you over my poncho. <laughs> so, no, no. So, what you do is you turn it to an angle, and then you stick this into the, into the, the paint. And then what was the physics? The Venturi effect? When you blow air across the top of a straw, it will make the pressure, air pressure in the straw lower, which raises the liquid up. Infantry, if I, I had a friend that was in physics. Not me. I, I'm gonna go with that you're not just making that up. So, so. Uh, well, that's how. It, I mean, that's the physics of how it works. Okay, so this yes. goes into the paint. Yes. And I, 90 I, degree angle. I, and I blow this. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. What? All right. It seems like the mouthpiece would have the protective. Oh, you I think don't that's know. What it is? No, well, I don't know. I'm. I'm not. You'd think, but. I don't. I would just think it'd be really easy to accidentally aspirate it. But you know what? I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with that. One. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna because this is gonna have more air. Yeah, and that would get right. down in the in your. So we'll even try. though I know the physics, I don't know how to work it. So. All right. I I found some fluid acrylic that's. All right. All right. You're gonna hold Here. that up and, co and yeah. cover your face. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't believe I'm indulging you on camera. Hey, look at that. What? You guys didn't think more. anything was going to come out, No, did I, I fully expected this to just be for entertainment purposes only. You can hear it going. You can hear it. Well, it takes time for it to suck. Hold on. I don't have the lung capacity of this. Hold on. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually... That's, <sighs> oh. So as you can see, wow. if you blow hard yeah. enough, you can make anything come out. <laughs> That's important. Are you okay now that you've I'm winded, hurt yourself? But it's okay. For, okay. I'm winded and injured, but we'll, we'll, we'll survive. <laughs> and now I'm yeah. going to flick over it. Yeah, oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. 
Right. Beautiful. Well, uh, this definitely qualifies as a freak show. Uh, right, everything I do usually right does. Right here, but. and that, well, this is the first time it's up. Been able to be properly labeled. Properly labeled as such. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. You can follow me if you care uh, <laughs> on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. Uh, and you can follow Amy Gardner Dean on Facebook. Mm -hmm. She's on there. She's always uh, uploading fun stuff yeah. or artwork and stuff. And I'm, uh, I'm uploading all kinds of stuff that I shouldn't be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's. Uh, so this has been our Jerry's Live After Party for the Freak Show. Yes. Should we hug him? Yeah, we. As you probably know <laughs> right now, watching. I'm well into Taco Night. Yes, yes, definitely. I'm well into Taco Night. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Funmeister. <laughs>